Yeah, we're gonna be going to Chicago, dude. Holy shit. Chicago. 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 <laughs> Chicago. The name of the, the ancient bat, the albino bat. Yeah? From Pet Detective. Pet Detective. Remember he says Chicago and they have to bow? Chicago. Yeah, it's our time to shine Show that's the kind of state of mind You gotta combine with hard work and time You gotta climb to the top Don't let yourself drop till your heart stops Let this beat rock Got a new clock and a new stock for this new rock Just let your mind loose from the new stock Drunk off the goose yeah. Knock, uh, knock um, Wait, so, wait Yeah, who's there? Maya he Maya he who oh, damn it Maya I'm supposed to say Maya who? Maya who? That's what's going on. <laughs> oh, my bad. But <laughs> Next time. To the bus. Bus. Off the speakers can't even handle me. Give it what I got, nobody's gonna drain my energy, and I will never stop. I'm motivated by enemies. Setting up shop so everybody remember me. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. <laughs> We're gonna make some noise. Right here. Yo, look at this thing. Uh, okay, so here's the thing about the gong. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> noise, noise, noise. You see, when you do like a harder strike, you get a different kind of thing. Saint Lucia's. Saint Lucia's. Saint Lucia's. We're finally here, dude. Oh my God. Are you ready? You're blinking a lot. Huh? Yeah, I'm ready. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hello. We're here. Oh my. All right. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's perfect. It's perfect. This is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up. No, I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you, I ain't never So let me break, 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 break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up. No, I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you, I ain't never So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up. No, I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. Yo, I bent down. I need you to help me get back up. Eric and Jasmine and Yosh. First day in Chicago. Here we are. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, we made it here. It's a windy city. The windy city? I heard it was the ill city. Guys, we're in the back room where all the coolest shit is hanging out. They've got like an untold amount of artistry in here. You have no idea how much time it's going to take all of these people to recreate any of these pieces. And they're just sitting here for everyone's pleasure. And it's really well lit, and I think it's kind of the perfect backdrop to get your guys' story. And we kind of hear about like where this all started. So how did how did you get started in all of this? Um, so my partner Mike and I really opened about five years ago, um, just to really try to kind of elevate the idea of a neighborhood smoke shop. Um, we really try to cater to everyone here. We have everything from pipe tobacco and cigars up to vaporizers and some nicer glass. Um, but our, our goal is really just to um, bring quality products to people who are looking for something other than a pushy sales experience. Um, we, we have a small space and that really kind of helps us cater to the idea of focusing on quality um, rather than just seeing how many things we can put in front of people. How would you say this whole culture has affected either of you? Like, how would you say this whole, uh, you know, the world's changing, opinions are changing, is that changing you guys too? Um, so I think that just the changing attitudes in general, people are going to be a lot more willing 
to invest in something that's beautiful, that they want to share to their friends, that they want to show off, um, as opposed to something that's just purely functional, um, that they're going to use and maybe appreciate while they're using it and then just put away somewhere and not look at. Um, so I think it's really, like, I, I'm excited about the, the way that attitudes are changing for that and I'm really hoping that um, the idea of functional glass art is going to be something that's more accessible. Can you guys pull out some of like your favorite pieces yeah. that you're willing to touch and actually yeah. like? I'm willing to okay, touch cool. every single piece in this shop. This is a Jerry Kelly Millie tube, kaleidoscope, crusty, the clown marble on the back. Um, it's pieces like this that people are will be like, don't touch that. I I would never hit that. Like yeah, I'd never art. smoke out of it. Yeah, and mm -hmm. that's when someone says that. That's the person that I'm like, this needs to come out of the case so they can see it closer. Because you know. Uh, Someone who's hesitant to get a little closer and admire it is going to be someone who's seriously impressed with the work on it. Oh, wow. Okay, okay let me focus so, in on that real quick. Oh, damn. This is a piece from Narla Carla, who is one of my personal favorite artists. She does these peaches. Hmm. And this is her cloud tube. I believe this is number 10 in the series. Um, it's done on Arctic Blitz, which is one of my favorite colors, this beautiful transparent aqua. Oh yeah. And she just does such a clean job with her surface work, drawing those clouds. It comes with a matching carb calf, which is also signed and numbered from her. Wow. And it's just such a beautiful set. This is one of my favorite examples of just super clean shaping and really just the right touches of you know, different uh, techniques, get the surface work and the sculpture. I'm a sucker for opal inclusions, so this one's got three of them, plus one on the carb cap. Um, I just really think it's such a stunning example of work. Mm, let's see, man. Yeah, you know, right? I spent so much time back here and I'm just like, okay. Don't be afraid. Uh, yeah, no, I'm just being conscious. Conscious, not afraid. Um, <laughs> yeah. How about, how about the vagina pipe? I mean, like, nothing can ever beat that, for sure. But I feel like, in case there's anybody who may be a little squeamish about explicit things... It's not that explicit. It's a 21 plus venue. True. You're born naked. <laughs> Sorry, I'm changing the mic. Oh, whoa. I thought that was your reaction to the you're born naked thing. <laughs> I was whoa. like, oh my god, it was! <laughs> whoa, dude. Is a collab between Sherm and Arcanist John. Um, Sherm did the tube crushed opal, and then Arcanist John did the uh, fumed horns as well as the fumed marble on the back. Wow. Um, these horns are done with just gold fume, so this is not a color rod. That's just rod. all clear it's and gold. Clear and gold that he did his magic on to get oh. that beautiful solid pink, Damn. Um, fully crushed opal body. And then my favorite from this is if you look at it from this angle, you get like an angler fish kind of vibe with the eye and the teeth. Oh, whoa. Yeah, you can't tell maybe over the camera, but this thing is glowing. Break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up, I never you know give I'm it take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. This is our marbleization collection. And then with this one too, you can nice. feel that strange texture. It's like an external kind yeah. of fume. So like it's smooth in parts and then it totally grips a little bit yeah. and it gives it that really sweet. It like looks like it metallic. has black stardust in it, but it doesn't, which like is almost even cooler. Mm -hmm. Just like mixing colors to have your eye catch different, uh, different variances in the glass. Oh yeah. Yeah, I really want to see this one in action because the green's cool, but then it's going to be like the forest just at dawn where the yeah. sky is still black, but the, but the trees are starting to Definitely. light up. Yeah. yeah, and we're going to be legal here in a couple months, so that should be really exciting for us. Yes. Um, yeah, 21 plus um, recreational adult use is going in January 1st, so um, obviously we won't be selling anything, but um, hoping to provide the people with a lot more hardware with our software. Nice. Ooh. This, oh, I like that. This is like the like art that. and you've built it and they're gonna come. Like, period. Oh, yeah. This place is beautiful.
you St. Lucia's for having us. It's been a great time. Thank you for being our welcoming crew to Chicago. This is the Hetty's Road Crew, signing off. <laughs> oh. Next time on the Hetty's Road Crew. Big nose, oh my gosh. Freedom Cigar and Tobacco. Smell-O-Vision smell users, plug in now. Yeah, smell of vision just...